Welcome back to NAMI Now You Know. Let's pick up where we left off. Now it's time to talk about what's going down this weekend. It is the NAMI 19th Annual National Alumni <coughs> Mental Illness on Mental oh, I can't even talk to National Alliance on Mental Illness Wellness Walk. So it is our NAMI Walk 2024, and we have all of y'all are going to be in the building or at the park on that day. <laughs> and so we're super excited, right? We really have mental illness we know mental health challenges affect everyone at all ages right it doesn't matter how young or how old but this year we really want to put an emphasis on our youth and young adults right so we're having the mayor's youth council in the building we're having our college students in the building so we know texas southern and other universities rice for example are going to be represented there i want y'all to talk a little bit about what it means for you all to participate in the walk this year I was actually very excited like when this opportunity arose and we reached out and we got in contact and I was like, oh, we're doing this. <laughs> um, so the Mayor's Youth Council, um, well, yes, we'll be there, but we will also have a booth um, where we'll be distributing, you know, we'll have some fun activities, face paint, coloring pages, um, as well as we'll be distributing information about the Mayor's Youth Council, about the Mental Health Committee and some of the work we've done in the past and our future goals and things like that. Um, so if you're there, stop by the booth. booth. Um, as well as we will be kind of hosting a bit of like an after party. So we're going to have a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a DJ playing songs. There'll be time to, to talk and talk to your peers, youth, you know. Um, and yeah, if, and if you want to have it, if you have any song recommendations, your favorite song, especially if you're a youth, um, please go to Houston NYC or Houston, Texas NYC on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram and then you'll be able to keep up and sign up and join the Mayor's Youth Council walk team. Um, for the walk on Saturday, but we are very, very excited. I love that. So give us that handle again. Is Texas TX or spelled out? At Houston, spelled out Texas, so like TX. Okay. Houston TX NYC. Okay. All right. And Amazon Mayor. Amazon sure. Mayor. Yeah. Gotcha. Perfect. And they can follow you and they can join your team. Absolutely. Excellent. Are you going to have Deontay there? I think I'll show up. You show up. I, I, like, I like parties, so I think I'm going to yeah, come for a good yeah. time. I, I'm not going to be that busy that early. No, but I'm looking forward to it. I am excited uh, for the youth component. Uh, I think we talk about mental health, and sometimes it can be a somber topic. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think actually uh, embodying what, what mental health looks like with motion, with a, a healthy community, safe space, mm -hmm. uh, being outside in nature, because mm -hmm. we know the weather is going to be perfect. Yes, it is. And all, yeah. and all these things. So I think while we talk about it a lot, having uh, these examples, even when Hannah talking about the activities, mm -hmm. of being very intentional on things that youth can enjoy the experience, but take certain things back to their communities, mm -hmm. to their schools, mm -hmm. uh, to their own lives that they can uh, implement. Because it's not always sitting down for a therapy session. Sometimes it's going out for a run. That's sometimes right. it's doing something that's stimulating or something that can uh, encourage you or make you feel proud of. Uh, that you develop, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we ha we have the after party. There's going to be a lot of dancing, yes. and yes. everyone's going to already be stretched because they're walking. That's but, right. But it's going to be like the earliest after party ever. Yeah. So so it's I gonna, feel like that's a whole tag. The yeah, it's going to be the earliest after party. We're going to be done by twelve. We're gonna, yes. we're, everyone's going to be done by twelve. But we're looking forward to it. Yes. Uh, we're excited about the sponsors that are supporting those that are lending their support, uh, from therapists to Salada that that'll that's right. be there that's and. Uh, right. Even the mayor's youth council and uh, having the mayor present, that'll be an amazing experience. So I think it's going to be a fun day. Uh, we've already told the students that their bedtime is 9 o'clock on <laughs> Friday. So, so, they can, get up. so they can have yeah. be well rested. Uh, we know they don't stay out late on Fridays anyway. Uh -huh. uh, but I think it'll be a great time. So encouraging youth to bring their peers, bring their friends, yeah. uh, and even parents to bring their, their children, uh, well, their youth. Yeah, children you responsible there you for. Go. Uh, but youth, uh, bring them and Please bring them by the booth and learn more about the Mayor's, Mayor's, youth, Mayor's youth Council mm -hmm. and the Mental Health Committee. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Because a lot of people don't even know that you exist and you do incredible work. Absolutely. So, yeah, we are we are delighted to be able to share this space and share that stage with you all on this day. So, or on Wednesday. Uh, Saturday. <laughs> oh, my God. My whole week's running together. So, yeah. on Saturday. So, thank you for agreeing to come. Absolutely. And thank you, Ashley, because you're coming out with another um, student from Texas Southern. Yes. And you guys are going to be volunteering, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So um, we'll just, we'll pitch you in wherever we need to pitch you in. Yeah, so we think that we're probably going to use our collegiate students as greeters 
in our registration area. That's the, the, the first face of the whole walk. And so we know that you guys are gracious and kind and we've really stepped up, we've innovated the walk this year. Um, in years past, we kind of print out a list of everyone registered that, that is registered, but not this year. We're all on an app. So we'll fill you in on that later. Okay. So thank you for coming out to participate there too. Is there anything in particular that you want our listeners to know about the work that you're doing, <coughs> any particular interest that you have, any words of encouragement? Uh, while Hannah's loading her brilliant loading, thoughts, I, like uh, I, I would encourage people again to show up Saturday. Uh, walk time starts at 8.30 at Sam Houston Park, for those that may not be aware of that. Uh, there will be youth there, so bring, them, bring your students, bring your uh, nephews, bring your children, your grandchildren, <laughs> uh, all of these amazing young people, bring them out. And uh, also, uh, we're not just trying to encourage the students to be present, we're also encouraging students to donate. Believe it or not, yeah. they have some change yeah. in their pockets. <laughs> so, or um, their cash out. Yeah, on their yeah. cash <laughs> out, on their Apple right? Pay, on no. the Fortnite. I don't, I don't care right. where the money is. Right. They right. have <laughs> uh, But just encourage the students that like to invest in it because that it's, it's, it's worth the investment. And I think uh, there's no pressure. Of course, if you do not have it, sure. uh, just ask Hannah for it. But yeah, I, I, sure. I think it's important for students to learn the importance of investing in things uh, that create safe spaces like uh, NAMI is doing with the wall. So that would be something I would encourage. And we take adult money as well. <laughs> absolutely. Just, and just to expand on what Mr. Deontay said, absolutely. This is like a space and a time for everyone. And we're saying youth because, of course, we want youth to come out. Um, but this is a space for everyone to talk, to collaborate, um, you know, to, to, to grow together as a community. Um, that's kind of how I'm viewing this event, and I'm very excited about it. So, um, yeah, absolutely come out. Like I said, um, if you are like, oh, I want to join the walk, join the Mayor's Youth Council walk team. There you go. There you go. Um, uh, we'll be there, our booth, um, and we're super excited to meet everyone. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to have a good time. I am delighted that for the first time ever, we're having the youngest Grand Marshal. Um, she is 18 years old. She is part of the Fisk University gym, I guess their first gymnastics team, first HBCU with a gymnastics team, and that is Ms. Morgan Price. Yes. And so we thank you, Ashley, for creating all of our assets that help to really frame up our presentation of our influencers. So she will be there to cut the ribbon alongside uh, Mayor Whitmire. And yeah, we'll get some good caption on that again, because it's about youth seeing other youth. From our first se segment, when you talked about just dispelling those myths and stigma busting, it's one thing when it comes from us, right? And we know that you sit and you listen respectfully. I think it adds a whole nother push when it comes from you, when it comes from you all, saying, hey, let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about how you feel. Um, I can remember in years past that I came from, I came over from for-profit to non-profit, and I used to write business development strategies for psychiatric inpatient hospitals, right? And that's a new little niche in residential treatment centers. Around the spring, around just before prom, our beds were always full, always full, and more often than not, it was the female unit. Um, a lot of bullying, a lot of social media pressure around that, uh, just around body, body image, and the bullying around prom and just sent a lot of young ladies spiraling um, into anxiety attacks. And I just remember that so vividly, just being anxious for the spring to come in my professional sense, right? Not thinking about the business model, but thinking, wow, these young ladies, right? And then the therapist almost had a whole you know, set of material just for that time of year. So you all saying, hey, it's okay to talk about it. Who you are is good enough. Let's talk about the sore spots. What, is, what can we do to relieve those? It makes all the difference in the work that we do. So thank you all again for that. Thank you, Deontay, for the work that you do. And I know I was uh, I was delighted to hear that you used to be a member of the Mayor's Youth Council just I a was, few years ago. Just, just you, a few years just ago, a few, like, like yeah. we won't say dates, but I was yeah. definitely, <laughs> definitely I, it was before Instagram, so there's no footage, <laughs> there's no, none of that. None of that. Right. <laughs> So did, has it changed a lot since you were a member? Uh, I, I'll be honest. I do not think I maximized it as I should have when mm -hmm. I was a uh, student. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there has been a changes, mm -hmm. of course, with administration. During the time I was 
in the Mayor's Youth Council when uh, Mayor Anise Parker was the mayor. Okay. Do you know who that is? I do, actually, yes. Okay. All right, sure, make, read sure. make, make sure, yeah. make sure, all right. So, uh, so that make was, that was, that was, that yeah, so that was when I was there. So, but I f feel like, uh, like any organization, the uh, advisors, those that are supporting, and that's one thing that I can say. It's not just uh, while I give leadership to the uh, to the um, committee, yes. uh, the leadership for, for the council at large uh, helps very much. We have some adults that are serious about advocating for students, mm -hmm. that are serious about showing up, especially uh, not just in the classroom, but in the government settings. So when we're uh, talking about certain things, so you'll see that on display with some of the people that will be helping us on Saturday. Uh, but I think it's changed a little bit. I will say, I think they were a little bit more bright and vibrant than we are. Mm. So, uh, and maximizing opportunities. So it really, it really is enriching and a full circle thing to kind of see students take home of the opportunities before them. Yeah, that's excellent. Well, thank you all again. Um, I'm glad to know that I'm gonna see you all again on Saturday in a more casual sense, right? We'll yes. wear a t-shirt and jeans or shorts or whatever. We'll have a good time, and we're going to take your word for it. The weather is going to be beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. The clouds are going to roll away, and it's going to be a perfect day. Thank at, you for the recommendation the on the DJ, too. Oh, absolutely. He's been amazing working with I'm so excited. Just the technology that, that it, you know, we Yeah, prepared. please please understand, he's bringing a show. He's bringing a show. He's bringing a show. He's bringing a show. He's okay. going to be good. All right. Well, like he said, it's going to be the earliest day party, or the earliest party it's ever. The <laughs> earliest after party ever. Yes, yeah, the earliest after party. We're going to do it. We're going to have a good time. Everybody, come out, join us. Um, opening ceremony starts at 8 a.m., our uh, booths will be set up between 7 and 7.30. Um, we've got Salada that will be on site. We've got Turkey Leg Hut that will be there with food. I know, Turkey Leg Hut does that to people. Um, <laughs> Turkey Leg Hut will be there with their food truck. And then we've got a, a, a team with Traveling Toms. Traveling Toms has a, an array of gourmet coffees. And so, yeah, we want to make sure that everybody gets whatever that you need to fuel your tank so you'll be ready to walk and then party. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So thanks again to our sponsors. Thanks to Amazing 102.5 for creating this platform. And we will see you next time on Now You Know with Nami Greater Houston.